another video. Of <clears throat> we swap. This time we're going to talk about the most powerful wizards in Harry Potter. Tenth spot is Ron Weasley. The reason is because there's no real powerful wizard to actually count. Actually, Molly Weasley. She kicked Bellatrix Lestrange's butt, which is an impressive feat, and she was able to conjure the Protego spell, which is an incredibly difficult spell. I mean, it was Protego Maxima, but still, it's equally hard. Ninth spot is Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger is, of course, the know-it-all and brains of the trio. She possibly knows more spells, but is slow and... The weird thing is, why was she actually sorted into Gryffindor, not Ravenclaw? Anyways, 8th spot is Harry Potter. Harry Potter is excellent at defense against the Dark Arts, and we're only counting defense against the Dark Arts and Dark Arts here, not any other types of spells. But still, McGonagall, Severus Snape, and all those guys count because they're still excellent duelists. And dueling. Harry Potter turned out to be an excellent duelist <clears throat> and was able to defeat many Death Eaters <clears throat> in the Battle of Hogwarts, in the Ministry Atrium, and more. Seventh spot is Nymphadora Tonks. Nymphadora Tonks is of course, a very powerful wizard, <clears throat> able to produce a corporeal patronus of a wolf, and that is th that reason is because she fell in love with Remus Lupin and they married, having the son Teddy Lupin. But anyways, <clears throat> she was killed by the powerful dark <clears throat> Death Eater <clears throat> Antonin Dolohov. And speaking of Antonin Dorlohov, he is 6th place. Now, 6th place is, as I said, Antonin Dorlohov killed Remus Lupin and Nymphadora Tonks. An impressive feat because, well, the Marauders, every one of them, is incredibly powerful. Like, it's impressive if an if a single Marauder loses a Death Eater. But still, I think Remus Lupin is more powerful, and Remus Lupin had a chance of beating him. A very big chance. Fifth spot is <clears throat> Bellstring Lestrange and Minerva McGonagall. Both of them are incredibly powerful, with one very dark and one very light. Well, you get what I mean, right? Minerva McGonagall rarely uses the Dark Arts, but can use him if necessary. Bellatrix Lestrange tried to kill Ginny Weasley, although she blocked it, and as said before, <clears throat> she got wet. She got killed. Well, I didn't say she got killed, but. She, anyway, she got killed by Molly Weasley. And <clears throat> Minerva McGonagall put an imperious curse on the Kairos, fought against Snape. Oh yeah, and Snape also counts on this place. And is an excellent at Transfiguration dueling, and she... <laughs> Became head of Gryffindor, Transfiguration teacher, and eventually head master, head mistress. Fourth spot is the Marauders. I mean, they're all equally powerful. <clears throat> they're all good at healing magic and enough to produce a bandaging charm. Good enough at charms <clears throat> to create a corporeal patronus. And use the homunculus charm to create the Marauder's map. Good.
good enough in defense against the Dark Arts for <coughs> Sirius Black to defeat Lucius Malfoy <coughs> for Peter Pettigrew to, well, defeat numerous Aurors <coughs> enough to become a Hogwarts teacher and enough to hold up against the Dark Lord himself. Getting <coughs> Dark Arts enough for Peter Pettigrew and all of them. <clears throat> and they're good at pretty much every single type of magic, including Occlumency and quite a few that I didn't talk about. And third spot is obviously Grindelwald, as the second most powerful dark wizard of all time, only to be beaten by Voldemort and Albus Dumbledore. <clears throat> Second spot is Voldemort to be the most powerful dark wizard of all time. He, as you know, is incredibly powerful. <clears throat> and <clears throat> the only one he feared is the most powerful wizard of all time, which is impressive. And first spot is the most powerful wizard of all time, Albus Dumbledore. And just so you know, we're not... Possibly the four founders of Hogwarts go into s <clears throat> second place with Voldemort, as the four founders are incredibly powerful. Anyways, Albus Dumbledore <clears throat> is the most powerful wizard of all time, <clears throat> and he tried to get all three Hallows, although not simultaneously, he did get a quite a few of the Hallows in the same time. And I guess that Harry was actually the one who got every single hello simultaneously, but in reality, Dumbledore got two of the hows in the same time, which is still an impressive feat. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, like and subscribe, and bye!